Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing or demonstrating you all how a professional sliding zoom PowerPoint template works on your presentations. I'm kind of excited for this. The transitions of this PowerPoint template really look awesome, so I bet it's going to be a perfect fit if you'll use it for your meetings, reports, or even for your master's or doctorate degree. Also, these PowerPoint templates serves its dual purpose as I'll be giving general and very important information that we all need to know about COVID-19. So if you're into it, let's bring it on. By the way, this PowerPoint template is editable, so it would not take you quite a long time to make your own. Feel free to download it in the description link below and use Microsoft Office 365 to edit. For sure, it's going to be that easy peasy lemon squeezy to unleash that creativity in you. The template is protected with a four-digit password, so please make sure to watch the whole video and catch the password at the iCard or at the upper right corner of the video. To fully detail the instructions and how to have your copy of the template, just head on once again to the description link below. So, I think we're ready for this. Let's head on out to the presentation. What are the things that we need to know about COVID-19? Let's find out together in this presentation. First and foremost, we need to know what is COVID-19. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. While there are people who are mildly affected by it, there are also those who suffer from very serious symptoms. The coronavirus is very contagious. Transmission of this disease happens when droplets from a person's sneeze or cough is breathed in by another person. This time, we will get to know when does transmission of COVID-19 take place. The virus can get transmitted via droplets if we are not careful, so we need to be very extra careful. Being in close contact with others who may have the virus, especially when they talk loudly, cough, or sneeze, put us at a higher risk of getting infected. When we are speaking to each other loudly, it is said that we expel at least 1,000 droplets from our mouths. When we cough, we release at least 3,000 droplets. And one sneeze can release at least 40,000 droplets. If every droplet of saliva or snot that we are exposed to is infected by the coronavirus, it is highly possible for us to catch COVID-19. This time, we need to know if we have this COVID-19. What I'm trying to say is, what are the possible symptoms for us to know if we have this virus? We need to watch out for the signs and be ready to take action. Who do you think should you keep an eye out for? Look at the following symptoms at the right. First, fever, dry cough, breathing difficulty, chest pain, runny nose, sore throat, pneumonia in both lungs, muscle pain, and headache. If you have these symptoms, I would advise to have or to be consulted with your doctor. You go to designated hospitals where doctors use a test kit to check if what you have is really COVID-19. The results can be positive or negative. A positive result means you have the virus. A negative result, on the other hand, means you may or may not have COVID-19. Take note always that only doctors are qualified to interpret these results. This time, we need to know what must be done if we have traveled or contracted COVID-19. Deciding to stay away from other people for the next two weeks is probably not an idea that would put a smile on your face. That is indeed very saddening. But when one has traveled and or has gotten really sick, 
to keep our loved ones safe, it is sometimes necessary to do what is needed to have a quarantine, whether we like it or not. Well, during the quarantine, what would you like to explore? It's that doesn't mean that if you're in a quarantine, you need to be sad. There are a lot of things that you can do. First, you can establish a schedule. What activities would you include? You can also mix up your space. Which spaces would you rearrange or decorate, especially at your home? Stay physically active. What sport would you choose to play? Would you exercise or would you like to dance? Stay mentally active. Would you do word puzzles? Play with Legos, solve math problems, do experiments, or read books. I love reading books. Connect with others. Would you be excited to send to and receive messages from others? Or you can have me time also. What would you do on your own? Would you make a song, poem, or dance? How about drawing, painting, writing in your diary, singing, or playing an instrument and last but not least we need to accept the new normal in your case how will the way you do things change from here on in that way you still enjoy your quarantine period last but not the least of course we need to know what must be done to avoid COVID-19 I got some very cute bitmojis from Mom Luisa Araya Tianza on what must be done to avoid this virus. Here we go. The very important one, of course, we need to wear our face mask always, especially when we go outside. We can also sanitize. We can wash our hands. Or better stay at home. And also this one, do not touch your face. Also, keep your distance or observe physical distancing. Stay safe always. Or maybe stay home, especially if, if you are feeling sick. This one is very important. We need to get our shot or we need to be, uh, we need to be vaccinated or we need to, be, to get jobbed. And also, we need to live a healthy lifestyle. And don't stay up too late, especially uh, during nighttime. And last but not the least, of course, to stay healthy, helpful, and calm. Those are some of the general and very important information that we all need to know about COVID-19. And that's how this professional sliding Zoom PowerPoint template does the work. I hope you were able to use this template, edit, and customize at your own consumption. Special thanks to One Skill PowerPoint tutorial for the concept, Mom Luisa Aurea Tianza for the Bitmojis, Marcus of PowerPoint, Filmora, and Canva for Education for the creative work as always. Please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell icon for you to receive latest updates of my informative videos. Do not forget to follow me also on my Facebook and Instagram accounts. This has been Teacher Zim saying thank you and see you on my next video.